I've lived here since 2005, so just over 11 years. I've been living here five years in the past, and now I've been living here for one year. The only thing that maybe you sense, or I sense in a way, is that whenever the issue comes, and you know, I ask my, my British friends, you know, oh, there's going to be an election, you have to go and vote, and all that, they, I think for most of them, it's like, well, I don't know what I'm going to vote, you know, they feel like maybe that they have to vote for British to stay, you know, that maybe I want for them to vote yes, and I don't know if they maybe think that my intention when I tell them that they have to go and vote, you know, is for them to go and vote for England to stay. It can be that also, yeah. I mean, it's a, what I sense is that they don't bring the issue, no problems at all, but whenever the issue is in the table, sometimes um, they, they are a little bit violent, because I think that for them it's like, you know, it implies lots of people that they know and maybe they feel like, I don't know, with a lot of pressure maybe. The, the referendum debate is framing around immigration. Uh, it makes me feel also a little bit awkward. It's like if somebody, if you were next, sit next to a group of people that is talking about you, that they are even insulting or smearing you, and you don't have the right to answer. To me, it does feel a little bit like we are not welcome in this country anymore and people do not like us to contribute um, as, um, as we do. Even though I, I'm, not, I'm not worried, because I believe that the world is very big, you know, so if they don't want us here, we will go somewhere else. So, my opinion I don't think is very relevant. What I think it might be, if the Brexit wins, it could be other countries to follow suit. Um, on a cultural level, it will, it will create um, um, a bigger difference and, and, um, and, a, and a wider border between um, the rest of Europe um, and UK. A Brexit vote with a kind of narrative that is being framed around Brexit, anti-immigration, control of borders, anti-refugee, etc., would encourage all these far-right parties across uh, Northern Europe. I don't think it's a good thing. I don't see it as a good thing. I think that they will make a mistake, but again, the thing with the pressure and all that, you know, is something that I try to avoid to tell my friends because maybe they could feel like I'm trying to, you know, influence anyone, so I don't say it. And most people in this country are going to vote with their guts, with whatever they feel, not whatever they know or they might know. So personally, I don't have a clue. I think that the Brexit uh, side lost the economic argument, they don't want to talk about that anymore, and they are trying to play. This card of immigration is something that causes anxiety in many working people in this country. You know, because people is going to vote for what they feel more than anything else. So politicians have seen this as an opportunity, you know, to go where they want to go. And they are trying to lead that in their purpose. Yeah, but I mean, that's why one intention, it depends, it depends on what they want to achieve, they will go in one direction or the other, you know. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's funny because the results, the results are there, but many different countries will have many different opinions on this question that you are asking. I suppose it will depend on the results that they are getting from being in the European Union. And many countries now, after some years being into the European Union, some countries, they are not happy about being inside. So maybe that's why many countries are believing or they are hoping or they want to live because maybe the results that they are getting or what they believe is happening now you know is not what they expected so in that sense i think maybe there is a lot of room to improvement you know and for improvement and maybe one of the things that it shouldn't have been done is to implement more and more countries when the countries that were already in there weren't really settle, you know. I mean, they were creating something really new, something that they wanted to achieve great things with that, but they were implementing new countries and countries and countries and countries, you know, without establishing the good roots on it. That's, I think, the main, one mm -hmm. of the main, the main problems that 
For me, yes, well, for me one of the main problems is that something that uh, the Brexit side is um, exploiting, which is that there's no direct, directly democracy in the European Union. And that's true, it's very difficult to control what those civil servants are deciding from a personal vote every four or five years. It seems far away, and when the European elections come, people are not very engaged with those elections because they don't feel they know those people, and they don't feel they know the programs and what they're going to do. And that's one of the strongest points, probably, of the Brexit side. Well, my feeling is that something has to change, that the way the European Union is set, well, I believe, and as I believe, that the euro hasn't achieved what it was expected to achieve. The very the differences between typical example Germany and Greece is notable, and there is not a fiscal unity in Europe. There is no monetary taxation around the countries in Europe the same way as there is in the same country in different regions. Uh, so something has changed. Yes, definitely. I think it's hard. It's very hard, but it's, uh, it's possible and it's necessary. Uh, Europe cannot survive, in my opinion, without uh, a radical change. But I am optimistic that it can be changed and that, we, that if countries work together, that the entire European Union can be improved and, and changed for good. If the European Union has brought peace to Europe since the Second World War, that on its own is a good idea and it has worked well. So on that has extremely good value. Uh, but as everything is done, you can improve it. And I think it has to be improved.